The Enterprise-operated Pierce Field is located 280 kilometers east of Aberdeen on UK continental shelf. Oil and gas will be produced from two reservoirs, Pierce North, formerly Meaden, and Pierce South. Recoverable reserves have been estimated at 84 million barrels of oil and 202 billion cubic feet of gas. First oil is planned for autumn 1998, when production is expected at an initial rate of 20,000 barrels per day, rising to a plateau rate of 45,000 for about six months before falling off relatively quickly. Among several competitive bidders for FPSO-based solutions, Pierce Production Company was selected and contracted for provision and operation of the FPSO vessel, including subsea facilities and topsize processing plant. Being able to propose an existing vessel, the MST, or Multipurpose Shuttle Tanker, Bergehugen, proved to be a very positive element of the bid. Contract for another FPSO, based on a similar vessel, the MST Navion Munin was at that time already established. December 1997, Navion Munin started production from the Chinese Statoil operated Lu Feng field. Both the Lu Feng and Pierce FPSOs are moored with STP, submerged turret production systems. The STP system is developed and delivered by APL, Advanced Production and Loading, based on the proven STL system. Per July 1998, six STL and one STP system are in operation. Three SAL, one STP and one STL system are in installation or construction. Located in Arendal, Norway, the company in July 1998 has 50 employees. Design of a complete STP system is a multidiscipline project consisting of tasks such as project administration, mooring and riser system design, structural design, fabrication and purchasing specifications, and follow-up. Initial mooring system design was carried out resulting in mooring system layout and component dimensions. Total weight of the complete mooring system, including anchors, was under 2,000 tons. The results from the theoretical analysis were later verified through scale model testing in the Ocean Laboratory at Marintech in Trondheim. Based on the forces from mooring and riser systems, the STP buoy, including turret bearings and turret shaft, was structurally designed and verified. Fabrication of the buoy was subcontracted to the Nemo Yard located in Grimstad, Norway. Large cast parts, such as the upper mating ring and locking collar, was delivered to the yard from River Don Castings in Newcastle, England. Turret lugs are cast and delivered by Skana Stavanger, Norway. The buoy was there integrated with turret shaft and other machined components, such as the riser connection pipes delivered from Bröder Nijonsen in Ski, Norway. Rotation test for verification of well-functioning turret bearing system was carried out at the buoy construction yard, enabling an uncomplicated integration of turret system into vessel offshore at the field. Saturday, May 23rd, on the planned date, the heavy lift vessel Uglen lifted the Pierce STP buoy off the Kai and launched it into its right element. Due to a shallow threshold in the fjord, the buoy was transported out into open sea by Uglen before being launched to the free floating position for the tow out to the Pierce field for installation. Prior to buoy arrival, the eight mooring legs consisting of anchor piles from SIF in Holland, wire from Trefield Europe in France, and chain from Vichinet in Spain, had been installed and laid down to the seabed by Rockwater of Aberdeen in Scotland. Risers have been installed from the templates over the midwater arc and are laid down to the seabed. Upon arrival at the field, the buoy was ballasted to correct depth and mooring legs and risers connected. During the attachment of weight to it, the buoy was deballasted accordingly. Pickup arrangements was finally connected to the STP buoy, making the system ready for arrival of and pickup by the FPSO Bergehugen. 
When the Bergehugen arrives at the field, the boy will be pulled in with risers and mooring systems attached to it. Connection of the FPSO is in this way dramatically simplified and less sensitive to weather compared to the traditional hookup of each mooring line to the FPSO. The STP swivel delivered by Framo Engineering in Bergen, Norway has been lifted on board and mounted into the STP compartment of the Bergehugen at the yard in Newcastle. Once the boy is secured with the boy locking mechanisms of the vessel, the swivel is positioned over the boy by means of a trolley system. Bolts are then used to secure the swivel stack to the turret. Risers from the seabed templates are connected to the internal turret in the STP buoy, allowing the vessel to freely weather vane with the outer buoy hull. Flow paths are led through the swivel core up to the corresponding outlet ring where flexible hoses are providing connection to the vessel piping system leading to the top sides processing plant. The Pierce reservoirs are developed with two drill sites, north and south, with a total of six oil production and three gas injection wells. In addition to provision of required mooring and allowing weather veining for the vessel, the STP system connects the reservoirs from the templates at the bottom to the rotating vessel. Based on subsea commingling, riser configuration are three 10-inch producers, two to north and one to south manifolds, one 8-inch gas injector and one integrated service umbilical. Future expansions include one 8-inch gas export and an additional 6-inch water injector, totaling seven risers and one umbilical. Designed for permanent mooring of the FPSO Badgehugen for the field life, the Pierce STP system is designed for significant wave heights up to 12.8 meters. With reservoir pressures up to 350 bar or 5,000 PSI, this job truly demonstrates the capabilities of the STP system. APL would like to use this opportunity to thank both our customers and subcontractors for excellent cooperation in this project.